see you throwing this hand away here just yet for that size bet. And James is making the call. Yep, he's going to invest deeper. So right now the two sevens out in front. Going to the turn card. Eric would like to hit a spade, and he gets the spade. The dream card comes off. Eric with a nut flush, his opponent drawing dead. Let's see how much he bets now. Imagine free raffle tournaments, giveaways, and hanging with the WPT Global Ambassadors. It's happening now on the WPT Global Discord channel. Stop by for Q&As with Andrew Nimi, Rampage, and Brad Owen. And join our raffles for free tickets to the Sunday Slam. Click the link in the YouTube description below to join. There you see the chip count. James Mackey out in front with 23 million. The businessman from Canada, Eric Offrey, out in second place. Michael Pahuja in third. And he's a 50,000. The blinds are 150 and 300. Let's go to the felt. Action on the former clothing businessman, Eric Afriat from Montreal. He's got a pair of sixes. Six. And he will make it 600,000 to go. James Mackey, our chip leader. They call him MIG. He will make the call with an ace eight. And the local Muckle Pahuja has a king queen. He's also going to call. Muckle, the hottest player on the circuit this year, three times at a final table on the World Poker Tour. Yeah, it's his fifth cash this season as well. So here we go, three-way action. The flop comes queen, 5-4. Good flop for Muckle. He's out in front with two queens. Both James and Muckle check. 975. Eric's going to take a stab at it with the sixes. 975. You're certainly going to bet that if your opponent's checked to you. Only one overcard out there. James Mackey, the 28-year-old, is going to get out of their way. And Muckle, of course, hitting top pair. Oh, he is going to check raise, Vince. And a healthy check raise up to 2.45 million. I call. A quick call by Eric. Eric with the sixes. So a big pot happening, deuce of diamonds. diamonds. Muckle still out in front with the two queens. He's reaching for betting chips. And it looks like a lot of them. About 3.2 million. And that deuce does give Eric a gut shot straight draw to go along with his two sixes, but he is far behind right now. Hey, call. But it's not slowing him down. He's gonna call here, Vance. So massive pot brewing here. Over 13 million in the pot now. Nine of diamonds on the river. Uncle's only got a little bit less than five million left here. He's going all in. His opponent's been slow playing a giant hand. He's just knocked out. He knows that, but... But he's happy to hear this kind of chatter out of Eric. And now wanting him to call. No one would have been a snap call if he would have beat his hand. 4,625K. I call. Wow, he is going to call it and pay for it. Muckle Pahuja is going to double up and retake the chip lead. Right, Muckle picks up the King Jack suited on the button here. He's going to raise it like everybody would, 800,000. But right behind him, Eric's got two kings. Unbelievable. 1.6. Eric has played so aggressive at this final table. He gets a premium hand. Good chances he'll get paid off with it. Well, he's raised to 1.6. James Mackey oh. goes out. Back on Muckle, making the call. And the flop comes out. Queen, 6-3. Yeah, no help for Muckle there. 800. Eric going to bet 800,000. Well, Muckle has nothing but a backdoor flush draw and a backdoor straight draw, but it's going to make the call here, Vance. He could be stepping into quicksand here. Turn card. Yeah, deuce of diamonds. That may actually save Muckle some money. Eric is going to check two kings here. Muckle checks right behind him. And now a jack comes off. Well, this will spell trouble for Muckle. 2.5. If indeed Eric bets, which he's doing, 2.5 million. Vince, when your opponent checks on the turn and the queen high board, I don't see how you can possibly throw two jacks away here. You would not think so. Yeah. Oh. There's the donation. Kings nope. The call by Muckle. You can't blame him for calling the way this hand was played. 
What a crafty check it turned out to be by Eric on the turn there. Otherwise, he doesn't get the action on the river. So Eric taking down that pot with two kings. The businessman from Montreal mixing up his play well tonight, no doubt about it. <laughs> well, as you can see, with that pot, Muckle went from chip leader to third place in this three-handed battle of a record-breaking field of 1,795 entrants. Well, he's a 200 and 400. Now James Mackey with a pair of sevens. Eight. Got to bet 800,000 here. Muckle folds. Eric with the queen 10 and wants to see a flop, so he makes the call. And the flop is a 996. No help for either player, but a good flop for James if you're holding two sevens. 600. Wow, Eric with nothing is going to try to take the play away. Makes a bet of 600 grand. Well, Vince, we've seen him lead out in the pre-flop razor time and time again at this final table. And now a queen hits, hitting Eric. He makes his queens. Well, he was bluffing on the flop. Now he's going to try to get value out of top pair here. 1.2. What a turnaround card. 1.2 million. Well, James has the flush draw to go along with the two sevens now. Not a big flush draw, of course, but... Still, you're happy to have it. He makes the call. Going to the river. And now a 10 comes off. This gives Eric Queens and 10s. So he helped on the turn and the river. So he takes a conservative route and checks. Three pairs. James checks right behind him. Oh, wow. Eric turns up Queens 10. Two pairs, Queens and 10. You would have paid, you would have paid big money there. Let's check. I thought you could have better out that thing. Imagine free raffle tournaments, giveaways, and hanging with the WPT Global Ambassadors. It's happening now on the WPT Global Discord channel. Stop by for Q&As with Andrew Nimi, Rampage, and Brad Owen. And join our raffles for free tickets to the Sunday Slam. Click the link in the YouTube description below to join. James Mackey, and he quickly folds the hand. Muckle now. Yeah, the small blind here is going to limp in with the 8-5. Four more. But Eric Afriette from Montreal has a queen, 10 of clubs, likes it, and will bump it. Yeah, going to raise it. The men raise 400,000 more, and Muckle's going to call and see a flop here. And the flop comes up at queen, jack, 8. Muckle's going to check bottom pair. Eric is going to bet top pair in a gut shot straight draw, bets 500,000. And Muckle makes the call with two eights. Going to the turn, it's a six of diamonds. Muckle's going to check. Million. This time Eric is going to bet a million. And that's going to be too much for Muckles. He folds. So Eric Offerot takes down yet another pot. All right, action's going to be on Muckle. He lives just a few miles away in a place called Coconut Creek, Florida. He's going to go out of this hand, and now Eric. Oh, he's got a gigantic monster hand, ace, king of spades. And he's going to start out with an $800,000 bet here. Right behind him, James. Let's take a look at his oh, cards. Look at this, Vince. He yeah. picks up a pair of sevens for the second straight time. He got burned with them in the last hand. Let's see what happens here. Well, first thing he's going to do is raise it to two million. Getting aggressive. Thirty-four. Well, three point four million. Now the bet. So the four bet by Eric here to three point four million. Now what do you do with two sevens? Well, you call. That's what James is doing. Big pot brewing here between these two guys. Here's the flop. It's a jack five three, but there's two spades out there. Gives Eric the nut flush draw. 1.6. 1.6 million is the bet. Yeah, Eric's going to bet on the four flush. James with just a pair of sevens. Yeah. Don't see you throwing this hand away here just yet for that size bet. And James is making the call. Yep, he's going to invest deeper. So right now the two sevens out in front. Go on to the turn card. Eric would like to hit a spade, and he gets the spade. The dream card comes off. Eric with a nut flush, his opponent drawing dead. 
Let's see how much he bets now. 1.6. 1.6 million. The pot's got over 10 million in events. Doesn't want to chase his man away. I can't blame him. Well, this is a very small bet for this size pot. And it is working, Vince. He is just reeling him right in here, it looks like. Oh, Remember, man. whatever Mackie puts in there is just going over to the other guy's stack because he is drawing dead. He doesn't know it, though, and he has made the call onto the river card. It's a six, so Eric still with the absolute nuts. What's the right amount to get to extract from your victim? Let's find out. 13.3 million in the pot right now. Six million. Well, he's going to make the bionic bet. Six million. Yeah. This a good size bet here now. And now what do you do if you're Mackie? You know all you can beat is a bluff here. The guy four bet you before the flop. What if he had ace king of diamonds, for example? Would he be betting the same way? Would your two sevens be oh, good? Oh boy, he's going to call. The nuts. The call. Oh. Oh. Complete devastation here for Mackie. Look at his face. Well, the two sevens. Whoever said seven's a lucky number is not going to convince James Mackey of that. He's had four sevens in two hands and got burned both times. Well, it's the mix-up plays of Eric Afriat. He has been bluffing so many hands tonight. This time, gets the nuts, gets paid off in a big way, and he extends a chip lead. Unbelievable. Well, Eric just loving life down here in Florida. Okay, onto this hand. Muckle is going to quickly fold his hand. Eric exuding confidence right now. He's got a 10-7 this time. And he will splash around with that junk hand. James with a 10-6 of hearts. Happy to see a flop here with the 10-6. The flop is a 6-5-4. That gives sixes to Mackey. Well, Eric has an open end straight draw. Mackey has top pair. All in. Oh, and he's going to go all in with the sixes. I call. And a quick call by Eric Afriat. With two cards to come, Eric with the possibility of knocking out this young man from Kansas City. Can he get it straight there? No, another six. Gives three of a kind there to Mackey. Now Eric must make the straight to win, must catch a three or an eight. Nothing else will do. Otherwise, Mackey will double up. And get back in the hunt, and it's a jack of hearts. So that's exactly what's going to happen. James Mackey is going to take down this hand with three of a kind. So with that double up, James Mackey is back in town. Very nicely done. Fooled by a man from Montreal. Oh, sure. no. It's not possible, Vince. Oh, what? Another pair of sevens for James Mackey. That is not possible. Wouldn't it's you shocking. just instant muck him right now? Pretty amazing. He makes it a million dollars to go with the sevens. And Muckle now with Dolly Parton, nine to five. He's getting his chips out to invest. Yes, he calls. So... Pair of sevens versus nine five, and the flop is a jack nine eight. So three over cards to your two sevens there. Mackey's gonna check. Muckle checks the two nines right behind him. Eight of hearts pairs the board. Mackey's had enough with the sevens. Checks again. Now Muckle just didn't want to get check raised out of the pot, so he checks the nines again. Now a queen comes off, and a spade. Possible straight, possible flush. They both check again. Muckle shows the nines. And James. Oh, wow. He disgustingly throws down the two sevens. And Vince, I'll tell you one thing. Anybody that comes up to him and says seven is a lucky number is liable to get punched in the nose. This guy's going broke with him. The yep. two walking sticks, he's going to be walking out of here because of them. He is steaming like a cheap economy car. Things have turned the wrong way for James Mackey, but... Right back on him this time with the button. He quickly mucks a 10-5. And now Muckle with an ace-queen of spades. But he just limps in. He's hoping this aggressive player raises him. But Eric with a seven-deuce. Just makes the call. Doesn't raise, but it flops a flush. Oh, wow. An unbelievable Muckle's flop. Top pair with top kicker and checks. Just incredible. Eric has flopped a flush. And Eric checks right behind him. So both slow playing their hand. Now aces and queens. For Muckle. Incredible. He is going to bet now, but he better put his seatbelt on soon. It's 550 into the man with the flush. 1.1. And there's the raise. And it's the min raise, Vince, to 1.1 million. All right. Smart min raise. Well, no way Muckle's going anywhere, that's for sure. He makes the call. Knows his opponent could have a flush, could have a straight, but aces and queens, the top two pair, you're going nowhere. 
We have a card. Three of clubs. Perfect card for Eric. Muckle's gonna wisely check this. Two million. Two million with the flush and a quick call. It's ridiculous how good you are, my God. Muckle just can't believe how lucky this guy's getting. Oh boy. The man from Montreal, the businessman, is making these pros talk to themselves. But I'll tell you, Eric plays such a mix-up game. Great deception. And that's what's paying it off for him. Making some great moves here tonight. He extends his chip lead. Now right back on Muckle. He's got a pair of nines. And he will raise to 800,000. Eric gets out of his way. James Mackey with a king seven of clubs. All in. And he says all in. All in and a quick call by Muckle. Well, I'm surprised Mackey would move all in with a seven in his hand. Unlucky as that card's been for him, but <laughs> let's see if we can get lucky here. Muckle has him covered, so James Mackey's tournament life on the line. If he loses, he'll be out in third place. Five cards to come. Here we go, Mike. 10 6 deuce. Save for the nines right now, James. Behind at this point. Muckle in front. Ready to break his 28 year old opponent. Here goes the turn. And it's a queen. No help for James. Well, there you see Muckle's wife, Alexis, and the dog bandit sweating the river card here. James Mackey. WSOP bracelet winner in a lot of trouble. He's the river out here. Let's take a look. Can he catch his king? Here it comes. It's a jack. Well, that's going to do it for the 28-year-old James Mackey from Kansas City, Missouri. Great effort this week. Out tonight in third place. James Mackey is sackied out of here. 441, he'll take home. Good job, James. A big effort, a great player. Let's talk to him. I'm not too happy, obviously. I uh, made a hero call, went wrong against Eric. That's how it goes. And, so yeah, very disappointed. All right. Lines of 25500 action on Muckle. He looks down to the Queen Deuce offsuit. That doesn't discourage him. He's going to raise it. Makes it a million to go. Eric with a 9-7. Will speculate. Makes the call. And we're gambling now. Queen deuce, 9-7. Flop is a jack, 8-3. Now it gives Eric a gut shot straight draw, but not much for either player. He's going to check. Muckle, nothing hitting there, but uh, looks like he's getting out betting chips. And indeed, he is. Makes a continuation bet, 950,000. Before he gets it out there, Eric has made the call. So that's a little scary when you have a queen deuce. On to the turn. It's a king of spades. Eric is first act. Doesn't change anything. Eric checks. And well, Muckle's also going to check. I have a spade on the river. Eric now knows the only way he can win this pot is to bet at it. 1.4. And he is doing that. Give him credit. 1.4 million. And Muckle's saying to himself, what can I beat except for a straight draw? That's exactly what his opponent has. Could he possibly make this call with Queen Ivins? Nope, he thought about it, but didn't do it. So a nice river bet there by Eric Afriot wins the pot for him. It's a battle's coming back in just a moment. Imagine free raffle tournaments, giveaways, and hanging with the WPT Global Ambassadors. It's happening now on the WPT Global Discord channel. Stop by for Q&As with Andrew Nimi, Rampage, and Brad Owen. And join our raffles for free tickets to the Sunday Slam. Click the link in the YouTube description below to join. Action's going to be on Muckle. Yeah, he's got a queen nine this time. Lines at 250, 500. 
buckled. He's just calling. Yeah, limps in on the button here with the Queen Nine. One more. Perhaps lucky to do so because Eric has an ace jack of hearts and he will raise. Yeah, shoots it up a million more. And Muckle. Call. Wants to see a flop, so he's going to make the call here. Here we go. Ace jack versus queen nine, and it is a jack seven eight. How well is Eric running top pair, top kicker? One million. He's going to bet one million is all. With the jacks. And Muckle with the gut shot straight makes the call. Muckle dreaming about a 10 coming off of there. Can he get his 10? No, an ace appears that gives aces and jacks to Eric. Yeah, top two pair for Eric, but with possible flushes and possible straights out there. No chance to check raise on this. He's going to lead right out and bet 1.4 million. That's going to get the job done as Muckle folds. So Eric extends his chip lead. It's not a good turn for you. Eric Alfred, 44 years old. He's got family and friends here that flew in from Montreal to watch this display of poker. And it is working out so beautifully right now. Can he close? Man, he might be a non-pro, Vince, but he's been playing poker for 25 years, so certainly has experience. A million. Well, here he goes. He's got a pair of eights and has raised to a million. One million. Muckle behind him with a king nine. Well, Muckle knows this guy could raise with any two cards, especially with his chip lead. All in. Whoa. So he's going all in with a king nine. Hey, call. And Eric's going to make this call. This is my flip. This is my flip in this tournament. Muckle Pahuja must win this pot to stay alive in this tournament. Otherwise, the amateur businessman from Canada will be our champion. Oh, big, boy, Muckle Pahuja going to the rail. Everybody on their feet. There's the Canadian contingent. Here we go with the flop, Mike. And the flop is a 5-5 deuce. That's good for Eric Afriot. Well, Muckle must catch a king or a nine now to take the lead. Eric can't believe it. He's laughing there. Loves that flop. Muckle disappointed, obviously. Will the snowman stand up? That's the question. Going to the turn. And fourth street is a ten of diamonds. So we are down to the river. Muckle Pahuja must catch a king or a nine to have any hopes of winning this tournament or it's over. Well, a major upset, one card away. We will see if the Canadian can take down this huge title. Well, Eric Afriot in prayer mode right now. Can he dodge a king or a nine? He has done it. Wow. It's over. What a story for Eric Afriot. Oh, man, an incredible effort for the Canadian right now. Eric's going to take down this title, take home almost 1.1 million. Before we talk to our champion, how about a hats off and a salute to Muckle Pahuja, our runner up tonight, and the guy who's far and away the leader for the WPT Player of the Year. I was hoping to make heads up a little bit more of the battle, but uh, may have gotten a little impatient, may have uh, pushed it a little bit, but you know, he got some strong hands right away to start, and I couldn't uh, make something happen. Once again, congratulations to our champion, Eric Afriot. Yeah!